Hello there, peeps, folks, and dudes. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I'm trying to sit there and go ahead and <laughs> get back to doing things. I'm trying to do green screen again. I, I moved the camera around, but these are some interesting, real quick shots of just some funny stuff that I found yesterday. And there's more than just screenshots. There's some stuff that we're gonna uh, look at while. Uh, doing some replays here that's honestly what I'm doing is kind of going over some of that because there was like five or six matches and this this is a circle that kept appearing in blitz yesterday you can see where I'm at and it just it kept staying basically right where I was there in the pre-built place over there until I had to move in but some of you guys saw some of the stuff yesterday that was an interesting little clip that uh, we got of a zombie of that person right there before uh, that person died. They were stuck. I don't know what happened. I have no idea. <laughs> if you all know, then all right. But what we're basically going to do right now is we're going to look in where we're using replay right now. And basically, I'm kind of going over those, like I said, the same eliminations that I did yesterday. You guys saw them. In that last video that I did, that was the Fortnite live stream with everything, and I just I wanted this is like one of the very first times I've really used replay. And again, I'm sorry if uh, by the way this is actually my my headset, my my headphones. If you <laughs> guys can't tell, but just to see some of the angles on where these people are coming from are interesting to me. I've also got some music playing in the background. I want to do something a little bit different. Hope that's all right with you guys. And I do have my camera pointed more upward this time to try and get rid of the glare on my glasses so you can actually see my eyeballs. But I tried to go ahead and get good angles with some of this stuff. And some of this stuff really messes up in replay. I, I think it's just, you know, loading. But this is where I found that llama when I was Dark Bomber outside of Fatal. And we ran into that Dusk that I, I don't know what the dusk was doing. I, I, I have no idea. It's like, I'm just going to scoop all this up. You ain't stealing none of it. And I already picked up that tack, and I was like, see you later. I just, I thought it was kind of interesting to watch and replay. And again, if this is not your kind of video, guys, like, go check my other stuff out. I will be, I will be doing some other videos and live streams today. I'm going to try and get back into maybe doing some Overwatch just to see what's changed out of curiosity. But yeah, that was the first match. Now this match, I came in, I dropped in on top of the RV, and I grabbed that pistol, but see, in the replay, it doesn't show it. Like, I'm shooting at a guy right there in that shack, and I do get him, I do eliminate him, but it, it doesn't, it didn't want to sit there and work. I, I tried this like six times to get it to work, and I, I don't know if it's just me or the replay, or what. It's kind of interesting to see this stuff you know, like where I throw the glider out. But yeah, I tried rewinding it and playing it again, getting a better angle on the guy in the shed. And my character's still standing there, and he's not even technically shooting at me, but I did I did eliminate him. Because see, that's where I, I got the kill. This was a quick, interesting view. I didn't even mean to do that. But I was able to go ahead and get it to where you could see the inside of the battle bus. I thought that was kind of interesting. So I kept that in there. But... I really like replay because you can see where everybody drops. I think that's probably the most interesting thing to me about replay, besides being able to see it from somebody else's angle, like how you actually got the elimination on them and stuff. And I do fast forward through some of this, so you know, don't don't worry. It's not all just you know short clips in real time. But some of these shorter clips that I already had that weren't like a full length, I went ahead and I kept roughly at about the right speed. Uh, you know, we had the problem with Rust Lord with the, I think it was the red, I think it's called Redline Glider. We'll have to look it up in another video, guys. But one of the gliders keep malfunctioning and we ran into that Rust Lord and see, in game it didn't do this. But this guy's entrapped inside the glider and the glider's still there in the window. As you can see. So I don't know what that was about. I, I really don't know. Kind of confusing me personally. That's where I was trying to sit there and make sure I <laughs> didn't have anybody coming in after me. But yeah, 
And this was kind of funny. As soon as I spawned in, there were these three calamities, I assume, on one team. Because remember, I was doing solo squads in Blitz. And they were all just trying to whack me and kill me already with their pickaxe. That was a better angle. I do like where you come in and you're already in the storm with the battle bus. I, I cut that short, though. And... I don't know. It's just... It, it's different to me to use it in replay to try and learn the controls of that versus the game. That's why I'm kind of scared to get back into Overwatch because uh, I don't... I don't think I remember any of the controls at all. I might have to play one round before I start recording. I don't know if I'm going to live stream it or do regular recording, but I, I do plan just to see what all's changed, what all's different. I know I'm going to see a bunch of skins that I, I haven't been able to see or outfits on the different heroes, but... See, this was me going over here. This is this is the round where I kept having the circles that were close to this little pre-built area right here. And I wasn't for sure, you know, if I was going to get found out. Because you do have those squads that go out by their lonesome. And again, it's kind of interesting to see all the names and where everybody is. And for a good chunk of this match, come to find out after I did this, this replay stuff. Because I don't normally do it. And what I had to do is I had to go into the replay and I had to hit regular record. That's why that's why I'm doing a video like this, like I, how I used to do, where it's all cut and spliced and everything else, how you do in Share Factory. You know, this is multiple, multiple different times and multiple different games that I had to cut and splice and cut and splice and cut and splice and put back in. Kind of like how my Bioshock video was yesterday. That's how I used to record games. You know, before I did live stream stuff. I just recently got into the live stream, so it was kind of weird to kick back into this. This is where I fast forwarded because it's funny to me, especially if <laughs> especially if you sit there and you think about like how slow everything was moving. But the fact that the storm just stayed right there on the line, I just I couldn't believe it. But, you know, I came up over here after I got done running up there and waiting on the storm. Because that's, that's where I waited the storm out. And it just kept getting a little bit closer and a little bit closer. And I was trying to hold off. You know, I was trying to play smart. I was, and that, but not that time, though. That, that's where I tried shooting the AR through the, the little slit in the wood there. I thought, oh, you know, can I do that? <laughs> nope. That's where I was kind of eyeing the storm where it was going to be and realized it was really moving in on my location there. But eventually here, that other rock, that other mountain right there, after I go up on the one I'm about to go up that you guys watched, after I got some material and everything, when I go up here, there's another guy that appears on a separate mountain, and I do, I do pan out so you guys can see that easier. But that's what I find so fascinating is, you know, you never really know how close you are to somebody if you don't sit there and get into a fight with them. But yet you have these situations where, see, there, there he comes in right there. He flew over from, like, Tomato, it looked like. And he landed on that mountain just outside where I was. And here, it's going to pan out real big here in about a second after I decided to not hang back there and decided to go back over here. And, and hide in the bush, you know, over here. But he's right there. You can see his little yellow marker on the mini-map. And that's where I was looking around, you know, trying to make sure, okay, nobody's going to sit there and get me. And then I panned out, and I realized he's right there on that other mountain. <laughs> he's right there. But, again, that that's what I mean, that it's so interesting that, you know, there's fights that could have happened ten times over. You have no idea how close you guys were to each other. And see, he's running over the mountain. He's going to kind of slide down the mountain here. He goes over by the tree line. I don't know if you guys can see him. When I was in full screen here, I was able to see it. I'm not in full screen right now because of the way this recording works. It's like I see myself recording, and then I can see the actual thing that's going on that I'm talking about. But he's like right there, running around the tree. He's getting more material. That's when I decided to say bye bye and he kind of stayed over there on that edge right there. Well, and I went to the tree. 
because that's in match that's that's the guy I ended up eliminating I didn't realize that you know there was two sets of stairs until last minute and then I had you know figured out oh wait a minute that's not my staircase I didn't build that staircase so that's somebody else's and I could barely see just a little a little like bump off of where the that's that's where I, I don't know camera angles that's where I found the llama I was like, yep, I'm going to risk it. And see, when I came back, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on that upper right corner right there, on that second stair that's his, I could just see this itty-bitty little little head or shoulder poking up. I was trying to zoom in to get it. You can see him flying around. That's where he flew down, and I decided to go around the long way on the mountain there. That's me still trying to figure out freaking camera angles. I, I, I suck in replay mode trying to figure out camera angles. It was annoying. I'm glad it showed up as good as it did here. And see, there's two other people, if you look on the minimap, that were over there in Whaling. And that was my thought initially anyway. I'm like, I know there's people in Whaling. I know there's people over there. I gotta get better with that new heavy AR if I ever get it again. I also, I... Even after I die here, because I know you guys watched where I got... I, I got too greedy. I wanted, I wanted that scar and the... Uh, or not the scar, but I wanted the grenade launcher and the heavy pump, and then I just almost didn't make it. But this is where the drone cam went free, and this is now over in Whaling. This is where some of the other guys were. This is me trying to figure out how to keep that mini-map up and also find people at the same time. I had to cut and slice this a lot better, but... Yeah, see, there's a guy running up on that one there. There's one over in that shed. I just thought it was kind of interesting to see, you know, even after after I leave and there is a still where I pause it where um, it should be coming up here not too long guys but after we see them fight and build and fight and build you know I took a minute to pause and try and get a better position you know because I was kind of struggling to stay out of the storm because it kind of messes up the camera what you can see because I, I kept going too far back and I but there's this one part where there's a calamity this is going to be the end right here. This That was the kill shot. That was the end kill shot. Now here in a moment, I'm going to go back into it after the fact. I'm going to rewind. And what's going to end up happening is we're going to look at it from a different angle. And then we're also going to end up looking in a match where the Calamity uh, ends up like freeze framing inside of their own building. And they're just getting ready to throw their glider out. See, this is where I rewind rewounded it a little bit and I went over here from this guy's angle because I think in game I think I think it jumped me over to that person there the uh, visitor that's got the heavy I don't think I was spectating the black knight I'm not for sure but see that's where he got that one the black knight took care of that guy and then we got black knight coming up over here visitors trying to build defense trying to get that high ground and then before you know it he takes that shot and he is gone just gone now this is the match it was interesting this is not in game this cape does this these capes do this in replay mode that they're good for a minute and then you twist it around to the different angles and different areas and it just flips out it's kind of like trying to do green screen like this was very difficult to set up and just get it you know this this de this much decency so the, i i just thought it was kind of funny to sit there and do to have it just flopping around everywhere i don't know if you guys have experienced this or not now this is the match where i got my five eliminations this was the really, I don't know how I pulled this off, that this is the solo that I was able to get five kills in. The, you can see the one there, the back-to-back, -back, where it was one person got into the golf cart, and or the ATK, as other people call it, as it's technically called. And what you end up having is, I eliminate that person, another person is hiding over in the two houses just outside of that, near uh, Risky and Lazy over there. And they end up trying to get in the cart or grab all the stuff, and I got them too. I don't think they were ready. 
I don't think they're ready at all. But again, I tried to cut edit that this one's fast forwarded a lot more. And I think it's I think it's towards the end of this match is the one I was talking about with where you can see where uh, the calamity built up and then another uh, opponent uh, went ahead shot it out now see this is another time I tried to come over here and it just it doesn't render and that's why I paused and then it rendered in so if you're on replay and you're trying to sit there and figure out like why is something not rendering in or why are you not shooting maybe rewind the the whole thing and just hit pause and let it load you know let it buffer <laughs> this is the one though that started out i didn't think i was going to survive i did not think i was going to survive this i tried to get a good angle on this stark voyager but i didn't this is the one that was my first kill i got them but this is where i ended up going over to the pawn shop and i rifted out i had to heal I was I was about I was about dead, and you just you, you just never know how a, a round of Fortnite's gonna go. You just never know. You know that. Now that's where I opened the chest. I got more stuff. That's where I was trying to view the map. You can tell where you end up viewing the map. Your characters are just like, and probably in their head they're thinking like, are you are you gonna are you gonna move me around? Like, come on now. But yeah, this is where I got the rift to go after I went ahead, got all this ammo, and I just kind of hopped around the map. That worked once really well when I was Skull Trooper too, when I was doing the um, the solo squads and I was hopping around. I think I got six or something like that. And that's kind of interesting to see where you fall and then you come into it. But but this is where I ended up going over by Leaky, and I snuck up on this guy over here. And again, just to pan out and to see, like, how close you were to people. Like, I didn't realize there was that many people still in Tilted. I thought everybody else had left. And that's where I got the chest up on top of the hillside there, the mountain. You can see my location just outside Leaky. I don't even remember what I got. I was too busy focused on in the map during the recording. But... Yeah, see, I did, when I dropped in, I was paying more attention to where I was going. I didn't even see those stairs being built back behind me over there. I saw those after being shot down once I got about here. And another thing, too, I could hear in-game that guy running around in the port fort But I didn't realize he was in the port fort And I didn't realize the port fort was so broken up. But you'll see him here, mate. You can see him right there by the waterfall. That's where I saw him, and I was sneaking in. Trying to be schnigger. And he was right there on the corner. Like, I didn't realize how close I was to him. I thought maybe, like, he was on the back side of it by then. And that's where I started chucking nades and trying to take him. And I thought, this is kind of interesting to see, I thought he was going to build up and then jump on top of the rock, or he was going to run up the rock. But then, when it comes around the corner here, you can see he was actually hiding kind of near under the stairs there but that's where I was like oh my gosh I, I don't know <laughs> I was like I don't know how I got that guy <laughs> but this was a fun round I, I I have to admit and I don't know it is it is fun when you get those eliminations this is where I was trying to hop up the waterfall there and it didn't quite work also it's it's still funny to w watch your character run like <laughs> the flash <laughs> in full speed <laughs> after everything anyway but instead of cutting it out I thought I thought I would just go ahead and speed it up that way we can see you know where the heck I went that's where I was suspicious of the two bushes right next to each other I really thought one was somebody you know hiding as a bush and as you can see there's no one over here at the quarry I thought there would be at least one person at the hotel there's no one there but yeah, see, there is nobody. There's one person in Lazy right there, near the pool. But I thought there'd be way more people at Lazy. I was like, I ain't going Lazy. I ain't going Lazy. And see, that's those two people right there. That's the two people I, I eliminate. And I was trying to be smart and hide on the bottom end of the waterfall. But instead... And see, they were right there. 
And I got them just as they went over the hill. Don't know how I pulled that off. And then I was confused. I thought maybe I didn't eliminate them and I just heard things. But no, there was another person that came up out of those houses. And this is where I went into that first greenhouse and I was trying to, you know, box myself in, be a little bit smarter about, you know, not having anybody come in. And I trapped it up and then I hid over here in the corner. Hoping somebody would go down there and, you know, <laughs> be like, oh, surely there's somebody in there. <laughs> Shh, there's no trap in there. <laughs> that was just me having fun with the replay camera. <laughs> but, like I said, it was interesting to watch the rest of this match. Because I, I didn't, I don't, I don't remember, you know, being able to see most of it very well watching it on live stream. Because I, I do remember, you know, wa watching it, you know, see, because we were so close, you know, to the end there. I do remember, you know, watching it in regular, in-game. That's where I was suspicious of a trap, so I put one there since there wasn't one already there. But there is one person just outside of where I'm at that's about to come over. But this is where I hit upstairs, and I didn't realize that there was a chest right there. I, I don't remember even hearing a chest when I was in game. That's the sad part. I don't even remember hearing one. And see, most everybody's over there by tomato. There's another person too. I don't know if you go back and look at it. There's one person when I'm running over to the other sets of houses, these sets of houses, there's a person running towards Tomato. It's in the distance. You'll, you'll have to look at it. Go back and look at it if you have to. Rewind the video here. But, yeah, see, that's the person that flew in, and I thought, oh, they're coming in, and I was waiting with my trap. I'm like, they're going to come through that door, and I'm going to trap it up. I'm, I'm going to John Wick them. Ever since I got that John Wick trap, like, I, I call that it. I'm, I'm going to have to call it that anymore. And see, when I jumped down, I could barely see that person by that shed. And I'm like, oh, you're not hiding. You're not hiding. But see, then at the same time I moved in on that shed and tried to get all that good gear to load up and to heal, that person right there, you see the, the pink moving in closer to me. I believe it was a DJ Yonder. That's the DJ Yonder that ended me right there. I didn't realize they were so close to me to begin with. Like I said, it's it's kind of fun to to look at the strategy as it happens. Yep, see, that's... Like, if only we had replay mode <laughs> prior to doing a match. But I tried to get him, and he just had them shots. Now, this is where I went free range, because as soon as you die in the replay, it goes free range. Now, here in a minute, it, this is, this is going to be kind of cut and pasted here in a moment. But... This is the match that I watched I watched the rest of this match here. And I could see it, you know, from all their angles, but I I couldn't see it like this until I got into replay. Which was fun to see. Which I'm gonna cut it here in a second because I just I couldn't get a good angle. Couldn't get a good angle. Couldn't find the two that were hiding over there in tomato. So this is after I panned out and the DJ yonder's in the gray house, which I wish I would have put a, another trap in there. And they're sitting in there on top. That's the one that was trying to get the DJ after they got me. And I'm going to pan around here. And I'm going to end up pausing it. Switching angle. Now while it was paused, I noticed this breakup right here. And then I noticed the calamity inside the breaking of the fort. So I kind of zoomed in on her. And that, that cape's still doing funny stuff. It's still floating around right there. But... Again, I just thought it was interesting to see, like, what that looks like mid-shot right there. We got the default skin there. So we got the default there versus the Calamity. And we've got Yonder sitting under the house. The other skin I didn't even look at on top of the house. And then the other two are hiding over in Tomato. And you won't see the other two till like, way after the fact, but... They got lucky, because they're, like, right on top of one another. I think they were a team. Either that... I can't remember if I was in solos or solo squads now. And it just... It came down to this many people that weren't on a team together. I really can't remember. 
But see, you, you could kind of see one person over there by that blue car there for a half second. That's me still trying to get correct angles in replay. I'm sorry, guys. Again, I'm, I was trying my best at the time. I was really trying my best. And mind you, this was, you know, cut up between going back into replay, getting the video to do correctly, and, you know, that's me trying to get a better angle as I paused. You know, hit the record buttons, you know, have it save in capture, then go back into Share Factory, take all those captures, throw them together, you know. As where more fight ensues, and that DJ Yonder still hasn't moved yet. Like, that's the other default. About to swoop over there. Coming at him, you can kind of see over there by the gas station, you can see uh, the other two trying to move in. They didn't realize they were even that close to one another. They're building against each other. And then that guy's gone. The default got them. These two are still fighting over here between the yonder and the one that almost got the yonder. That's me still trying to stay out of storm to see how the fight goes. Now it's down to four. We were at six. And that yonder's just, he's trying his best. And this is where I came around to get a better angle because there was two run in the storm there on the outskirts. You'll see kind of near the map right there. Near the mini map, I should say. And then the other two were in all that building mess right there. You can see them trying to run back in, and then those two are still fighting at that gray house. And I tried to get rid of everything just because it, it gave a better gave a better scene. That way you couldn't see all the controls and all the mini-map and everything, because, I mean, they're right there. That ended that, so we're, now we're down to three. Should be down to three. Yeah, we're down to three. But, man, just got the heavy. I forget how this ends, too, so honestly, I am re-watching this, forgetting how it ended, but... It got to be a very close, tight game. And that yonder is still fighting. And the, the default's just sitting there like, I'm going to sneak up on one of these two. <laughs> I'm going to get one of them. And they're just waiting. They're waiting for that storm to come. Oh, default almost stayed in storm there. They're running. They're building and running. And there's two of them up top. I think Yonder, I think this is where Yonder's demise is soon. Okay, Yonder's trying to take the mountain. Them two are just build battle. Yep, that's where Yonder's demise was. And it's getting tight game right here. Tight game. And gone. The default got him. All right, peace, folks and dudes. Well, please remember to like, subscribe, share, tell your family, tell your friends, tell the Coast Guard. I hope you've enjoyed. I know this is a little bit different. I've been trying to do some new different things. Hope you've enjoyed. Let me know, and I'll see you later, peace, folks and dudes. Stay awesome. Bye.